Hello everybody, uh, we're going to do a quick video just on how to install Nodescapes. It'll be 60 seconds, that's all, uh, and then there'll be future videos, tutorials showing you how to use it and things like that. So first thing we need to do is head into obviously Blender and open up our user preferences. We're going to head over to the add-ons panel and we're going to click on the install add-on button. We're going to head over to wherever you downloaded and saved the zip file, uh, which is on my desktop in the Nodescapes folder, and we're just going to click that zip and install it, and you will see it should either automatically refresh or not. I've already got mine enabled. Just enable it. I then recommend enabling the debug and keeping this to one side somewhere just so you can get used to the uh, the key maps because the custom key maps for this node editor, we couldn't use the ones that were built into Blender, unfortunately. So we're just going to hide that for a moment. And then to actually view Nodescapes, it's not in the tool shelf, on the end tool shelf. It is a actual workspace that you need to... Um, select so we're just going to head over here come down to the general workspace and click on nodescapes and this will open up your new node editor keep the end panel open for now and we're just going to click on oh, we're going to get rid of that cube and we're going to click on new so that we can start a new node tree and then we're going to just click on the nodescapes tab here head down to this little tiny drop down just below the plus and minus and we're going to click refresh presets and this will just refresh all of the built-in presets of the add-on and then you can just click any one of them and it'll execute the node tree for you. And then the um, thing will appear here. <laughs> um, it's really easy to sort of use. We wanted to keep it as user friendly as possible. Um, and the benefits of it is, is that you can kind of create all these different varieties of things. Um, you can also, obviously, once you've created something that you, you're going to work on as your final environment or texture or terrain, whatever it is. You can then click this plus button um, to create a new preset. Just name it whatever you want, uh, whatever you want, and then click OK. And then it'll be saved alphabetically, so we can go back to the crack and execute that preset and see the original one, or we can come down to the one that you just created and execute that and there it is so it's a non-destructive workflow so if you ever get to the point where you've you've finalized it and then decided you want to sculpt on it or something like that instead of losing all that progress you can just go back reload the preset you just created and work on it from that point onwards um, and that's it for for the install and just a quick get to know it um, Obviously, there'll be tutorials coming out regarding how to create certain things and certain functions, erosion, tools, all that kind of thing, and that will be out very soon. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you for purchasing. Thank you for your support. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Um, if you really love it, give us a sub. It does help. So anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.